Mava here. Hello. I am almost to you, Philadelphia. I am almost to you, Philadelphia. I am almost to you. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I don't care if there's four or all 12 people show up. I am so excited to just meet you ladies and appreciate you ladies and just uh, grow with you ladies. I have an awesome uh, little workshop cut out for us this evening. Oh, I'm so excited. You can see I still haven't put my lips or anything on. My lips were really dry today. I want to get some chapstick. But I went to the store and I didn't get chapstick. But you know what I did get? You know what I did get? Some new colors. So y'all already know uh, how I am with my colors. And my lipsticks and my blends of lipsticks. And everyone always, always, always asks me what lipstick I'm wearing. And where is it from? And etc et so I figured I would wait I have four new ones where's the other new one this one so I figured I would share the goodies with y'all so these are the ones that I always use all the time and mix all the time so everybody always says like what color are you using etc etc these right so these colors are the ones that I mix all the time. These are the new ones. Ooh. I can't wait to wear these. Uh, I'm going to pull over in a bit, like, before I get there. And I'm going to put this on. I think I'm going to mix the blue and the red, I think. What y'all think? Maybe with like a tint of brown. I don't know yet, but I'm excited to put it on. I love this stuff. This is like the lipstick of all lipstick. It stays on for eternity. Literally, you could wear this forever. Not even kidding. You could wear it forever. So, I still need to like, you know, fluff my curls, get my hair ready, fix my face. But, you know, I always come to you ladies. Doesn't matter what I look like. So, how you doing? Talk to me nicely. Give me some energy. Tell me something good. Somebody pop on here and give me some good vibes because I am on my way to Philadelphia to do my first meet and greet and I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. Um, it's the first time I've ever done one of these, like, officially. I was out in Vegas and was like, hey, anybody want to chill? But I didn't really, like, have this planned. I have some beautiful, beautiful gift bags. Uh, that are all made up and ready to go um, and I'm so excited I'm so excited I had so many women say that and I've decided that I'm gonna actually do a whole tour I have women from so many cities like hundreds reach out and say Come to my city, come to my city, come to my city. So, um, I am, and I've already figured out what my next stop is going to be, but I can't release it yet. I can't release it yet, but I will soon, I promise. I will let you ladies know soon. But first stop is Philadelphia. That's where I'm headed right now. Um, but after Philly, I will be coming to see you ladies in... Can't say. <laughs> Drop your city. Let me see if you guys let me see if you guys can guess where I'm gonna be at next. I've already paid, but I haven't been able to take the courses. What happened? What happened with your courses? Are we able to re enroll? Tell me, reach reach out to me or tell me what happened so that I know what's going on and I'll definitely work with you to figure it out um ooh Dallas that's a good one
girl, busy is not a good excuse. I appreciate the honesty, but dang. Busy is a bad excuse. Yeah, DM me. Reach out. Reach out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Philadelphia. I'm so excited. I can't wait to just get here and get my curls right and fluff my hair because it's real stiff right now, you see. But this now has to dry. You know, it has to dry stiff in order for me to get the, the vibrant curls that we love so much. <laughs> so very soon, very soon, I will have the curls popping. But um, I am... Ooh, don't spill the coffee. I'm so nervous that I'm drinking coffee and it's like way into the afternoon. In Pennsylvania right now, it's like almost 3 o'clock. <laughs> it's about to be 3. So, yeah. So, somebody talk to me nice. Somebody tell me something good. Hey, perp. Ah, Montcherry. I told you. I wasn't sure if you were threatening. day she's one of my students and she's like sent me the car the whole cardi b you are stuck with me forever rather than natural hair we will have better luck with pots girl my hair is natural mm -hmm. I think that you should wear what makes you feel good and wear what makes you feel confident and wear what makes sense I mean you shouldn't you know walk into a high-end restaurant with purple hair you know like you have to be somebody to be able to do that and and you know bag somebody otherwise it's just strange you know it's just doesn't fit into the culture in that space but I feel like you can do whatever you want to do when you want to do it and that confidence is what attracts if that makes sense sometimes I pop on a wig and date the same man twice <laughs> Lord Jesus if that's happening then that man is dating a lot of women a lot of women not my kind of guy <laughs> not my kind of guy but I hear you sis I hear you get it however you get it just don't be broke is my motto you know what I'm saying just don't be broke get it however you get it I support women not being broke <laughs> for real I'm so excited to do this. Literally, I just got off the phone with Papa, right? So if we could have like a real moment here, like a real moment. So this is the first time I'm doing something like this ever, right? And I'm, I'm nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Um, and I, I literally put it together in four days. Like just four days ago, I was like, I'm going to do this. And bam, right? put it together came up with this whole idea did it all out you know I always do things big so um so I threw this thing together last minute and so as I'm driving down here because Philly is only about an hour away from my house like an hour and 20 minutes or so um as I'm driving down here I'm getting nervous I'm getting nervous and like the RSVPs are coming back with like oh I'm sorry I can't make it I'm sorry I can't make it and I'm like oh my god 
oh my god what if nobody comes what if nobody shows up what if nobody what if nobody right and I'm thinking all these thoughts and and as I'm sitting here and I'm driving and like the sun is shining beautifully I feel amazing in this bomb dress <laughs> and and I truly had to have a moment of like reflection you know and papa said baby the fact that you are even in the car and on your way there and have no idea what's going to happen is the is the best part he's like that's the most beautiful part of what you're doing he's like you already won the fact that you're doing it the fact that when it's done you did your first one and then you can do your second one and it's gonna grow and you start somewhere right and so I'm having this really 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 real moment um and I'm like dang he's right <laughs> he's right I'm all nervous and focused on all the wrong things you know I'm, I'm focused on um who's gonna be there and uh or I'm sorry who's not gonna be there instead of who is gonna be there right so I say that to say that ladies I know that you hit moments where you feel like damn I can't do that or damn what if what if what if right because I thought about that this morning and it's why I didn't get down here earlier. My plans were to get down here way, way earlier and I didn't. Um, and now instead of me getting up and getting moving and getting going, no excuses, I almost started to create something for myself, if that makes sense. I almost started to like, I almost started to like, literally conjure up excuses as to why I couldn't do this. How crazy is that? Right? All because I was focused on the wrong things. I was focused on what if people don't come? What if um, there's only two people? What if there's only five people? What if there's... No, 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 no. I'm going to go down here and if I have to stand in this room on my live... That's what we'll do. <laughs> you start somewhere. You start somewhere and just make a move. Like everyone sees, you know, the aftermath, but no one sees the journey. And it starts with taking one simple step and just making a decision to do something and start to do it. Literally, you just make a decision like, okay, I'm going to get this done. And instead of you looking for all of the reasons why it can't work, won't work, or won't get finished or won't get done, just make one move in any direction. <laughs> make one move in any direction and that creates movement. And that movement creates literally uh, an entire an entire movement. Just one little, one little move, one little shift, you know, just one. It's like the little simplest, smallest things. Um, you know, we want to we wanna open up a business, but we haven't made any moves at all to like figure out what we love to do and how to capitalize on it. And how can I, like, I encourage you today to literally sit back. If you hate your job, is there anybody on here that hates their job? <laughs> no matter what your job is, do you hate it? If you hate your job, I encourage you to sit back today and think about what you're really good at. And how you can monetize on that thing. How you can expand on that thing. You know what I mean? Like, really sit back and think about how you can create financial independence on your own. If you have 15 sugar daddies running around and they're all giving you amazing amounts of money, what are you doing with it? Are you just saving it? That's great. But what are you doing with it? Because literally, your money that's just sitting there is depreciating in value as it sits there. If you're doing nothing with it. So whether you have $2 or 20000 or 200000 right? You need to make sure that you are applying your funds towards something that makes you more money. Always. Always, 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 always. Make sense? Like one little step. So for me, no matter what, 
I'm doing this thing. I'm going. And it's going to happen. <laughs> I know I got one student confirmed. And if there's only one, honey, I will preach into that girl and breathe life into her for a full two and a half hours. <laughs> And of course, my lead students, because you guys always get a, a peek in on everything. Awesome. So you guys will get to, to see it live. If you're in the Elite Student Forum, make sure you're tuned in so you can see it live. It's going to be dope. It's obviously going to be dope. Look how cool these are. They're so cute. Aren't they adorable? So cute. Excited. A bunch of learning material a bunch of growth material have you ever doubted your business and as you girl have i ever doubted it honey i have to fight that thing every single day that demon doubt Woo, girl i'm so glad you asked that question because that doubt demon is for real, for real. And he comes to get you in your sleep. He comes to get you first thing in the morning. He comes to get you when you're out with your friends and your family and you're talking to your mother. Oh, yes, girl. That doubt devil is real. That demon is for real. And it will sneak up on your shoulder at any given moment. That's literally what I was just talking about. Is, is how doubt creeps in all the time. And just because I'm in the position that you ladies see me in does not mean, uh, does not mean that I am by any means the perfect puzzle. I struggle with doubt. I struggle with fear. I struggle with anxiety. I struggle with all the same things that you ladies struggle with too. Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> to think and grow me and grow you together. We do this together. This is a this is a community journey. It's a sisterhood. It's a sorority of women that are are growing together and inspiring each other. I learn every single day. So yeah, there's been times I doubted my business. There's times that I quit. When I first started it, I quit. I was doing it out of my house and I got so discouraged. I got so frustrated because people were coming to like week one and then like not coming to week two or three and it was only $35 and you got a whole breakfast brunch spread and like mimosas unlimited you know and I still I couldn't get the girls in my city to step into themselves and part of it was because my direction wasn't fine-tuned and I, I was still doing it wrong uh, but more so because of doubt and fear and I kept letting those things stop me and and boy oh boy they will so I shut down my business I quit and, um, and then my friend Nayla, who owns Hair by Nayla, um, she is phenomenal. My sister, I love you, Nayla. Um, she, all natural hair stuff, by the way, all natural, get your curls right, girl, get your curls right. Ooh, see, it's almost fluffing time. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, so Nayla, uh, ended up messaging me and or calling me one day I think it was yeah she she was we were on the phone matter of fact and she was like yo take your business online like do your thing go on um go on to the uh internet and use it as a tool like use it as a resource you know phones you know this in and out so just do it like literally all you have to do is join these groups and she told me this one group she plugged me in with this group on Facebook and I was like oh snap okay so I started then like marketing terribly by the way my marketing in the beginning was terrible it's just cleaning up now if you ladies have been following me for a while you see the changes in my page the growth right I'm learning um so but it started off with just like dry pictures and like Look at my money. Like, it was bad. Um, but it was working. And, and what I had worked. And I knew it worked. And I believed in it. And, and because I believed in it so much, other people believed in it. And because they believed in it, it started to work for them too. So, yeah, queen. I absolutely doubted my business on more than one occasion. I've shut it down. 
<laughs> I started from the basics in the beginning um, because I had so much fear and so much doubt. I love how these college kids think this is New York. Like, this is not New York. I will. Let me not make threats on my lap. I guess that's not, not okay. <laughs> Um, I am looking for parking. Parking is going to stink. Heads up, ladies. Parking is going to stink. <laughs> parking is going to be terrible. Um, so, yeah, it takes just a little step. Just a little step. Like, I motivate myself by surrounding myself with other women that get it and want stuff for themselves too like you really are the company you keep remember when your mom used to tell you that when you were a kid you are the company you keep don't hang out with that kid don't hang out with right and they would say that all the time and it's true ladies it's true you really are the company you keep and if you allow yourself to spend your time with people who um are with with people who are not in a direction that you want to be going or or already there then you are wasting valuable time and friendships and energy that that could be used on so many other things for yourself so surrounding myself with positive people that wanted positive things and were doing positive things was a big one um and then uh and then cleaning out all the people that weren't was also really important. Um, because those are all the people that tell you you can't do stuff and you're not going to be able to do stuff. And you know what I mean? Hey, Philadelphia, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I am here, Philly, Philly. I'm starving. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. Um, so I'm going to be at uh, the meeting room. When am I coming to Dallas? You're the second person that said that today. Um, I am putting Dallas on the map, but I cannot tell you when. So I have a city coming up um, very soon. I'm going to let you ladies know where and when. It's far from me, like flight distance from me. So it might be near you. <laughs> it might be near you. I don't want around this block three times. Look, this is how you know I'm in Philadelphia. So if you guys don't know Philly, this is Philly. Philadelphia. Albuquerque, that's the first. You might have to tag a couple friends, sis, if you want me to come to your city because I don't, that's the first time I've heard Albuquerque. First time. First time. Where are you ladies from? Where's everybody from? I'll let you ladies know where I'm going next. But right now... I'm in Philly. Philadelphia. Oh, here's parking. There's parking right here, little dumb. Duh. Silly. I'm so hyped for this. Santa Fe. Santa Fe. So there's another there's another one down there, way down there. Oh, it's almost fluff time, y'all. It's almost fluff time. It's almost. Still a little wet in the back. Need a little bit of more dry time. That's the secret. You let it dry and get crispy, and then you soften it and you fluff it, and then it goes. So I'm here in Philadelphia. I'm excited. Again, I encourage you ladies today to make a decision 
to make a move. Okay? Make a decision to make a move. Decide that you are tired of standing still and you want more for yourself, more for your future, more for your children, that you want your daughter to know better, you want your sister to do better, and you know you have to lead by example. So, I encourage you ladies to do something today. Anything. Just take one step in the right direction of anywhere, right? Literally, if you want to lose weight, go to the gym today. Go outside. Put your sneakers on and just step outside. That's all you have to do. Put your sneakers on and step outside. And if you do, you will be taking literally one step, and physically one step, towards your goal. And that's how simple it is. Like, when I wanted to start this thing, I just literally went to the internet and I said, I want to start this thing. And I uh, I had an old computer. Matter of fact, I had my mom's old Dell computer. It The laptop is from, like, oh, my God, like, when I was, like, 15 years old. It's It's got to be... Oh, I, I'm going to find out from her and find out how old that computer is. My daughter still has it. Um, and I used that computer to help me bring my idea to life. True story. True story. Girl, get up. I'm so... This is going to be so powerful. Ooh, I'm ready. I prayed about this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. And these gift bags are just the cutest. Uh, they are so cute. Oh, my feathers fell. Cute, right? Adorbs. Oh, lost another one. Man down. Man down. There we go. And it says get up and glow kit. Yes, honey. Get up and glow kit. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. I love it. So, so, so excited. You ladies that are coming tonight get the exclusive drop on the new affiliates uh, program. The card for affiliates program is in here. So, make sure you keep your eye out for that. Now I can't get it back in. Uh-oh. Play too much. I play too much. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just like giving things. I'm such a giver. Are you ladies givers? I'm such a giver. I mean, I like receiving things too. I'm a very good receiver, but I love giving. I love giving. So I feel like I'm always going to have some awesome, like, cool little thing. And thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Miss Vogue. And you know what? I said I was scared to come down here. I was I was nervous. Oh, I gotta stop touching my hair till it dries. I was nervous as heck. And I was like, dang man, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could pull this off. Like this is so short. I just decided I was gonna do this four days ago. Like, I don't even know what compelled me to like do this so short term and all these other things. And then 
I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just do it. <laughs> I'm going to just do it. And I did. And now here I am. Sunglasses make your eyes droopy. Right? Look, and it's twitching. <laughs> Uh, does anybody else wait until they get to where they're going to get ready like papa says that all the time he's like baby you never ever ever are ready i'm like yes i am he's like babe you put your makeup on in the car and i'm like i don't even wear makeup <laughs> and he's like baby you, you pull up and then you start like doing stuff i'm like no i do stuff right away He's like, no, get it together. I got these new makeup wipes and I don't like them. Oh, I also got night calming, which is probably really dumb. Well, maybe not, since my nerves, you know, my nerves are a little shaky, so maybe it's not a bad idea <laughs> to get some calming, right? Calming maybe isn't a bad idea. I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> I'm always kind of late, but I do, I choose to put my makeup on in the car. Like, I, it's, I prefer it. I don't know why. I'm seated. I'm comfortable. I'm not girly enough to get like a little makeup thing, you know? Literally, my makeup kit consists of this, my lipsticks, and anything I can fit in this little bag because that's the most important thing. This is the first bag I ever got from Papa. How funny. <laughs> now I got Louis Vuittons and all kinds of stuff. Um, I have a tweezer, a hair tie, a highlighter, literally highlighter, um, not for makeup, um, mascara, itty bitty baby lotion, and some pens. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, I don't really do makeup. I don't at all. Yes, I have a tweezer in the bag. You have to have a tweezer at 31, girl. You'll pop a hair out of nowhere. Like, you'll be ready to go out and you'll be like, oh, what is that? It'd be a big, long hair. <laughs> like, I might even have one right now. Let me look. No. No, it's looking all right for right now. <laughs> Seriously, though. You have to have a tweezer in your bag. What do you guys have in your makeup bag? Or, like, your little, like, carry bag? Maybe it's not a makeup bag, because some of your makeup bags are OD full. So, what do you carry in, like, your grab-go bag? What's in it? Like, I carry this little thing everywhere I go, because it has all the things. She plucked her on live one day. Since then, I carry a tweezer. <laughs> Why are you telling my business? Why are you telling my business? <laughs> I did though, and I have no shame. I think that's why you guys love me because I think that's why you guys love me, because I'm just so honest and just so open. I just, you know what I mean? Hi, Sammy. I'm just so honest and open. I don't try to sugarcoat anything or, you know. I give you guys the real me. 100%. No sugarcoating. <laughs> no sugarcoating. Is that why you guys love me? 
Maybe I just need, I'm fishing for encouragement right now to get out of this car. <laughs> this is why I love you. This is why I love you. Because to... I never said I could sing, so you guys are not here for that. Oh no, my little lotion's running light. Sugar Borelli. You know what? Somebody went and uh, dove in my inbox. I forget who it was. I can't remember the name now. But And she was like, all this time, I thought your name was like Borelli. Like, you know, it sounds like something fancy. Like some kind of exclusive, like, I don't know, tire or shoe or some something. <laughs> I was cracking up. Oh, I don't use anything on my skin at all. I don't, um, first of all, because I don't know how. Um, let's start there. So anytime you guys ever see me, I never have on makeup, ever. I don't wear it. I don't know how. <laughs> I really don't know how. So that's why I'm not your, like, super overly feminine coach. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm like, girl, be yourself be you, do you, wear something sweet. It's worked for me my whole life. So, I haven't ever had any issues. Yeah, I don't, I don't wear, um, I don't wear any makeup at all. I don't know how to do that stuff. You guys have to teach me. All right, so what colors are we doing? You guys see the First of all, the drip. But secondly, no, just kidding. Um, but you guys see the colors. I'm thinking blue and purple mix with like a shit of red. Shit. A shint. <laughs> uh, I meant to say a spot or a hint and it came out a shit of red. <laughs> Which one? Which one, you guys? Which one, you guys? This is really bright. Can you guys see that? Super red. Mm. I need some dang going chapstick. I'll tell you that. What colors? Send help. What colors should I mix today, ladies? Let's see. We've got Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Which one? But will you recall? Which one? Can you see them? So this one's obviously out, this like nude one, right? We could say that's done. Um, I got a new shade of brown. So I got this brown is the one I wear all the time. And I got this one. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Because I've always wanted to try this. So let's do it together. Too funny. You said blue. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to hate this. Um, yeah, this is a definite mix color. So we'll start with the blue. I don't want to put any more blue on. Because when it gets thick, it gets sticky. And let's do the red layer. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
And then I feel like maybe a hint of this I don't mind this too much yeah these makeup wipes suck where's mine at? my good ones right here Clinique hello hello Clinique girl get you some Clinique because those other ones that I just got are trash. These are the truth. These will wipe off anything. These, these will get off permanent marker, honey. Gloss on top? No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I am not a gloss girl. Mm, I think it might need a little more red. What do you guys think? A little more red? Yeah, I think so. This is literally how I play around with my lips all the time. You guys are always like, oh, your lips look so good. I'm like, mm, thanks. This is what, this is what I do. Mm. When I was in Dominican Republic, uh, the one girl that kept uh, giving, um, serving me drinks, and she was making them so bomb, she kept giving me compliments on my lipstick. So I went upstairs and got my lipstick and I was like you can totally have this one I didn't think she was gonna take it and she did and I was like oh. ah. I couldn't take it back at that point you know <laughs> But I definitely didn't think. Homegirl was going to take my lipstick. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. This is working. This is why I love you. I have weird lips in the corner, so no matter what I do, and because I don't have the patience to like actually put the lipstick around my lips, I ain't got time for that. Which is also why I can't do makeup, but I can draw a straight line. Uh huh. So funny when you see a woman putting makeup on. We are so ugly when we do it, right? <laughs> we make the weirdest face, like. 
right? Weird. There we go. This is looking better. Oops. These are like the best wipes ever. Best wipes ever. Clinique. Clinique, y'all. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Philly, we are ready. And that's it. That's uh that's what consists of my makeup. Literally, those two things. And of course a little Hermes. Always. I love this. I will steal this off my dresser in a second. And put it in my purse. Sure will. I won't hesitate for a second, honey. Not one single second. Okay. How's this? It's straight. It's that I have a... Never pierce your face, by the way, ladies. Never. Your holes stay forever. <laughs> uh, that sounded kind of silly. No, but seriously, they do. Your holes stay forever. All right. So this is a very weird color mixture today, but cool. Cool to try new things. I'm going to have to bust out that blue for real, though. Like, really, really bust out the blue. All right, y'all. I'm about to take myself inside. I'm so super excited. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't have concealer at all. <laughs> I don't even know how to use that stuff. I thought you put concealer up here and like in here or something. Isn't that the thing you do the dots with? I'm, I really don't know. I really don't know. I actually might have concealer. I went shopping with Papa's daughter at um, Sephora. Was it Sephora? No. What's the other one? That's not Sephora, but Sephora-ish. What's it called? The makeup store. Anyway, I went there and I got a couple things because I was inspired by her. She was like grabbing all this stuff and I was like, cool. Little did I know how much makeup was. I was like, I'll pay for it. We got to the front, it was like 300 bucks. I almost died. Because I'm cheap. I like spending money, but not my own. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Spent $300 on makeup and I walked out with like three things. Literally. And like two brushes. But one of those things might be a concealer. Ulta. Ulta. That's what it was. Yep. Ulta. I'm in Philly. I'm in Philly. Do I like lashes? No. They weigh my eyes down. I already smoke weed. So I don't um I don't wear lashes not just because of that but you know what I mean because that already weighs my eyes down but also because I don't have the patience girl I barely have the patience to do this I hate doing this stuff like some women really love 
this, I don't. I'm not one of them. I'm not a let me spend two hours to get ready person. I'm a let me spend two hours to do my hair person. You know what I mean? There's a difference. <laughs> so yeah, nope, natural lashes. I don't, I can't. I, don't. I even tried those magnetic ones that you just like, droop, droop. they don't do droop, droop for me. They don't do do for me. Hey, Desi, 25 minutes away. What's inside? I'm just getting here. Hey, feisty. What am I getting ready for? We have an awesome meet and greet tonight. Um, it starts at five o'clock. So I'm super duper 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 excited. Um, it is three o'clock now. Um, so we are going to probably be at an open bar at four because our table probably won't be ready till five it's a private meeting room so if it is great if it's not fine we'll make do um oh y'all it's fluff time dang it's still kind of wet a little bit it's all right um but it's just a meet and greet i'm excited to meet you guys you guys have been following me you are the reason why my business and my brand has taken off you are the reason why i am in literally over 30 countries around the globe you are the reason why i am shipping blue boxes to malaysia okay you are the reason why i am able to wear this bomb ass overly priced dress okay it is because of y'all and I love y'all for that. Like, you ladies have gotten me to where I am right now. And without you, I would not be here. So I threw a little free shindig. Uh, appetizers, a few drinks on me. Um, just for the ladies to come out and meet and chat. And of course, I have a little workshop set up. Just uh, so that we can inspire and grow in this moment. So we're not just kind of hanging out. Right? We're hanging out with a purpose. Let's have friends that have a purpose. Right? Let's make sure that all of our friends friendships have a purpose and they're not just existing to exist right let's make sure that every person that we bring into our life and every moment that we share with them is spent growing learning and peeling something away from that person you know so i just wanted to inspire you ladies today i just wanted to come out and do a little free event um it costs absolutely nothing um but i'm gonna grab some appetizers you know i've got a nice little table set up a little private room um so nothing overly crazy i literally threw it together last minute it happened uh thursday i got inspired and i was like you know what i'm gonna do this Dana Chanel is going to be in Philadelphia anyway. I really want to go see her. Um, so I'm going to just do my own little thing too. Let me see if uh, if any ladies in the Philadelphia area want to meet me. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited that you ladies are are even excited for me. Again, um, somebody asked me earlier on the live if fear ever gets in my way or if I ever doubt my business or myself and girl I was on the phone with Papa and I'm like Papa I'm so nervous the RSVPs are canceling I don't know what to do and he's like baby you already did what you were supposed to do you got in the car y'all see this fluff Girl, wait until wait till it gets drier. Wait till it gets drier. Um, and he was like, "You got in the car. You made a move. You made a decision to do something, and you're doing it. That, in itself, is your win." And I was like, "You know what, baby? This is why I love you, and you are right." So yes, it's free. So if you're in the Philadelphia area, let me know. It is RSVP, but you still have time. Um, it starts at 5 p.m. So you still have plenty of time and we're going to be here till eight. So please, 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 uh, make sure you DM me or pop into my stories where all of the information is. Um, and we will make sure that you ladies have an address and location for the meet and greet. I'm excited. And, um, I may just release it, you know, uh, everybody's like, Oh, safety, safety. But I'm like, man, listen. So I think I might just put it up and just throw it up and, you know, find out who's in the area. Look at all these hearts I'm getting. Thank you y'all for the love. I love y'all. I love y'all. 
Y'all are my sisters. Y'all are my queens. Y'all are the reason why I am here. Uh, Y'all are the reason why I do what I do what I do and how I do it. Because of you, honey. Yes, sister. Because of you. Because of you, I am inspired every day to do what I do. How awesome is that? How lucky am I to have a you in my life? Mm-hmm. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So who's in Philly? Anybody in the Philly area that I missed? Anybody in the Philly area I missed? I know there was a bunch of Philly ladies that were reaching out and super excited. I know one of you cannot make it. I got your message. It's okay, queen. I forgive you. But next time, no, I'm just kidding. I forgive you, queen. It's okay. I understand life happens. I get it totally and completely. Um, but I'm not sure how many of these events will be held at no charge because the rest of these, I will be traveling pretty far. Um, and I want to bring you what I can bring you, but you know, this is my job. <laughs> So, so come, queen, come. If you're in the Philadelphia area, come. Shoot me a DM. Let me know you want to be here. Let me uh, clock the table and make sure that we have a seat for you. And as long as we have a seat for you, queen, you are more than welcome to come. And guess what, honey? If we don't have a seat for you, we're going to tell that barista to bring us over a chair. Okay? You know what I'm saying? We're going to say, excuse me, sir, we have another beautiful, awesome, amazing, intelligent, beautiful black woman. I had to look. Um, so we're going to need an extra chair, sir. That's all we're going to do, queen. That's it. That's it. And that's all. No job too big. No job too small. You know what I'm saying? I done touched my hair. Now I got this nasty gel all in my hands. Yucky, yucky. <laughs> yes, just shoot me a DM, queen. Let me know you want to be here. I want you here. I want to breathe into you tonight. I want to meet you. I'm excited to meet you. So, yes, girl, please. Please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out. This one curl right here is driving me crazy. I know you guys see it. It's really, really ticking me off. It's really, really ticking me off. It's really, it's really, 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 really ticking me off. I might just cut it. I might cut it. I might just say if I can't even cut it. There we go. All right. Whatever. 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 It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. Right, ladies? It's fine. No excuses. No excuses. Just commitments. It's fine. It's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares if it's not like Oprah perfect? Who cares? <laughs> the curl struggle is real, y'all. The curl struggle is real. Stop stressing. You got this. You see me, right? I'm all fidgety and jumpy and nervous. <laughs> Yes, Desi, I promise as soon as I pop off the live, I will send you where we are, queen. Um, yes, you do see it. It's underneath there. I'm not even going to pull it out now because I just tucked it away. Um, <laughs> thank you, Carletta. Um, Desi, I promise you, I will send you the inbox, queen. Get yourself ready. Do your hair. Put your wig on. Whatever you got to do. Get yourself classy, ready, Feel how you want to feel, whether it's sexy, sweet, soft, however you want. Get dressed, get in your best, and get down here. And you can wear good shoes because you don't have to walk anywhere. So, y'all seen the fluff? Did you guys see what I looked like just 10 minutes ago? Let me just tell you the three things that you need in your bag, the absolute must necessities, the three things that you cannot live without, honey. I don't care if you have nothing else in your makeup kit, queen. As long as you have an eyeliner, midnight black, a mascara that elongate your lashes and separate, and a good lipstick, honey, that is all you need, baby. That and some confidence, girl. That and some confidence is all you need. All right, they're giving me the boot, Philly. I'll see you in a second. I'll keep you posted. Check my stories. Ciao, ladies. <laughs>